Hey everyone! I just did a box review, so I was like, I have all makeup, but let me do some other vlogs. So, yeah. Okay, so this is TTC update, what, number five, number six? I don't remember. One of those. So, yeah, as you might have already guessed, um, well, some of you have guessed incorrectly, I'm not pregnant. No, I'm not. Um, so, uh, I got my BF in, my big fat negative, and I would have filmed it, except <laughs> that the first day I went to test, um, I was testing on what I thought was 10 DPO, and uh, that's days past ovulation, for anyone new to the TTC community. Um, and my luteal phase, which is the days from ovulation to when you get your period, and that's pretty constant unless there's a medical reason, is 12 days, about 12 days. You know, it can vary a little because some, you know, your period doesn't know that there's like a specific start date, so it might start at like 11.50 on day 11 for me, but it's still about 12 days. So I was gonna test on 10 DPO. I went to test, bam. Before I even peed in the cup, it was like period. I was like, are you serious right now, period? I'm gonna punch you in the face. So yeah, I got kind of violent. I was uh, really upset. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys my chart. Uh, it's not as in depth as my charts usually are because if you guys remember, I wasn't gonna try to over plan for this. Um, so I didn't even start taking my temperature until right before I um, ovulated, which I think was why my chart was off a little um, and why I thought I ovulated at a certain time, but clearly I must not have, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, so for those of you who follow me um, on my charts with Grayson, you know that um, I take out any of the markers for um, B. Dean, which is baby dancing, which is just a cutesy term for a sex. <laughs> Anything that doesn't pertain to directly on ovulating, um, I remove that from the chart because y'all really don't need to know about that. So <laughs> I pretty much just, I take everything out that doesn't pertain to like educational TTC stuff, right? So let's, let's, let's go to my chart. So as you can see, I didn't start taking my actual temperature until um, cycle day 19. Um, so I got, let's see, I don't even know how to explain this. So yeah, so um, I didn't, you, you really should start taking your temperature um, way back earlier to get an accurate, okay, let me just, let me just say real quick, you take your temperature, I keep forgetting that not everybody knows all this stuff. Um, you basically, you take your temperature because in women, the hormones that cause you to ovulate um, will cause your temperature to rise. So by taking your temperature, you can figure out one, about when you ovulated, and two, um, what your luteal phase is. So what happens in a woman's cycle is like you'll have your, and everybody's cover line, that's this line here. Um, everybody's cover line is different, so this was just mine this month. It can vary every month. It's not the same every month. Sometimes mine's different. You take your temperature and it'll stay below this, this, you know, imaginary line that's just made up for you. And then you ovulate and sometimes when you ovulate you get a little drop. You have a little drop in your line. I didn't this month. You drop and then BAM! Your temperature spikes. And then it'll stay above this cover line. And that's where the cover line comes in. Little joint section here. Um, this is, this is your, you know, where it'll stay above that cover line and then when you get your period, it'll drop back down and bam, you get your period. Or it stays up high and you are pregnant. So, yeah. So anyways, you can tell I did not take enough temperature for it to be super accurate. So I took, I took my temperature, I finally started taking my temperature, I started getting some symptoms, um, I took my first ovulation test, which I took with you guys, it was crazy positive, and then I proceeded to get four days in a row, four days in a row of positive, okay? Okay, so I actually cheated a little bit here, but because I had not been taking my temperature enough, um, my chart actually reported that I ovulated around this day, 
So originally, um, this was marked as day 10 because it had me ovulating on this day. But what I did is I went back in and um, added the same temperature I had in to like, I changed it so that it, I kind of manually told it that I ovulated around here based on when I actually got my period. So uh, I don't usually manipulate my charts. Um, I just did it because I wanted to see, basically. Okay, so um, I actually went in to test um, on, I can't remember, one of these days, and bam, got my period. So didn't even get to test, which is annoying. Um, so yeah, so that, that happened. So I was actually going to film it. I had my camera all ready to film, and there was nothing to film because it was not, did not happen. So it was actually like, it hit me really hard, you guys. Like it hit me really hard. Um, I was, I was almost, I don't even know how to describe it, but I was really upset. I was just like, ugh. And um, so I guess technically this is, it's only the second month trying and the first month was trying like kind of accidentally. You know, I'm not upset because it's been like so long. People try for years. Um, I was just upset, you know, it was just sad. I was just really disappointed. Um, I was really, really hormonal um, right before I got my period. So, you know, that can be a sign of your period or a sign of pregnancy. And I was just hopeful. Oh, well, it was annoying. So, so yeah, BFN, big fat negative, not pregnant. So just try, try again, right? <laughs> That's all you can do. So anyway, so there we go. So hopefully this cycle um, will be better. And at least I know that because I was, I was horrifyingly disappointed um, and also it was like shocking to me because like I said um, I altered my chart a little bit to fit in with the luteal phase I know um, uh, I told I like I, I manipulated a little bit by adding in some temperatures uh, and it gave me um, you know my luteal phase is about 13 days which is about accurate like I said it's always a roundabout <sighs> because so because I know I don't have 10 day luteal phases um, and I don't have any of the medical things that would cause you to have that. So I know that my chart was just wrong. So when I thought I was testing on 10 DPO, I wasn't. I was actually testing exactly when I should be getting my period, which I did. So it was just kind of like one of those things where I never even got the chance to test. And so that was hard for me. I was like, I wanted to at least test, you know what I mean? And not like be smacked in the face with, with you know, stupid ant flow. So, <laughs> okay. So there we go. There's my update. Um, baby dust to everybody who's trying. Baby dust to us. And I will see everybody in the next TTC update. Bye, guys.